Hello and welcome to lesson number two in a series of three lessons. I'm Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com and we're here today to take a second look at triplet related strums and this is what I call the 16th triplet strum, 16th note triplet strum. And um, in our last lesson I taught you about uh, a group of three equal notes. I, I, that's an odd number, right? One triplet two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Well, those are considered eighth note triplets, right? And I was just using an A7 bar chord to demo them because um, it's more about the strum than a chord progression or a song. You can apply this to a lot of different songs. I'm sure you've heard some of these strums that I've already given you in the first lesson. But you can use an A7th here, an A7th here. That's what I'm going to be using for the demo. And uh, it's just to help you get the hang of these strums and learn a little bit more about the count because the count is really important. In actuality, um, if you're struggling with your timing, a very good thing to do is learn to count like I did in the first lesson out loud till you get the feel of it. After that, you can let it go. Now, 16th note strums are double. So the 16th note strums are going to be played in slower songs. They're not going to be played as fast because you picture you've got like quarter beats going on, right? And if your quarter beats are one, two, three, four, then your triplets can be one triplet, two triplet. You can barely you can barely count that at the speed your quarters are going. So it's common sense that you know your quarter beats uh, and triplets aren't going to be as fast as say uh, uh, a fast eighth note strum or something. It's going to be a little slower because there's physically only so many notes you can fit into a time space when it's getting faster, right? And this really applies to the 16th note triplet. And in actuality, some of my students have an easier time getting the feel of a 16th note triplet because it's an even amount of strums. Whereas, you know, with the triplet, it's like down, up, down, or uh, down, up, down, up, you know, and the, the problem with the triplet is if you go, if you're doing a full bar triplet and you went one, two, three, four, you could go one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. If you're using alternate strumming, you know, your first beat would be on a downstroke, one triplet. Your second beat would be on an upstroke, two triplet. Your third beat would be down on a downstroke again, three triplet, and your fourth beat would start on an upstroke, four triplet. And for some, that is a little more awkward because really when you're playing a triplet, if you just play the triplet straight through like, what is that? Well, it's nothing because there's no feel to the rhythm until you stress the beat that you're relating it to. Like I could relate this to eighth notes, I could just go one and two and three and four, and I could relate it to triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two. You know, it means nothing until you emphasize the beat, right? So when you're playing triplets, you're going one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. When you're playing eighth notes, you're going one and two and three and four and one. Right away, you can hear it. and and of course, that's what creates the rhythm is how you emphasize it, right? And now the same thing for the 16th note triplets. You need to emphasize it a little more. That's double. Like I said before, you're going to find that double triplets probably a little easier because you have six. Uh, for 16th note triplets, you have six strokes. You have one, and you don't count it like, uh, like a, you would count a straight 16th note. You still count it like one triplet. Now you're going to count one triplet. You're going to do two strums per count syllable. Instead of going one triplet, you're going to go one triplet. When you go faster, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. That's what a 16th note triplet feels like. Now the cool thing is with the 16th note triplet being that it's equal, you can emphasize the downstroke every time on each beat. So now you know where your first beat, your second beat starts, your third beat, and you've got them uh, segregated and emphasized. You know, so one, two, three, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, 
two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So you get the idea there. And what I like the triplets for is pushing to another change in a progression. You might, you know, your first, and I mix them with the quarters and the, and the, and the eighth triplet. So I might go one, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. And that's a great strum. That works really nice. So that's a quarter for the first beat. Then two triplet groups for beats number two and three, and then your double triplet or sixteenth note triplet for uh, beat number four. One, two, three, four. One, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. See, that's about as fast as I'd want to go. Uh, for a 16th note triplet and there's lots of combinations um, I like this one where I go uh, a one a quarter then a double triplet like 16th note so I'll go one then I'll go two triplet three four triplet that way you're not crowding it and you're giving it some space between and and the one and the and the three beats are usually stronger than the two and the four beat and that works out really nicely. So let's do that. So we're doing one quarter beat on the one beat on the first beat of the bar, then 16th note triplet on the second beat of the bar, and then a quarter again for the third beat of the bar, and then 16th note for bar number four. So it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two triplet, three, four triplet, one. Two triplet, three, four triplet. Really cool sounding strum. There's a lot you can do with this, folks. And there's a lot more combinations. Use your imagination a little bit. Or if you don't have an imagination, you want to learn a lot more about this, you can uh, check out my Stage 3 uh, Ultimate Blues course, which I spent painstaking hours uh, dealing with all these rhythm issues and in great detail. So if you're not picking up on it as good as you'd like to, uh, may I direct you in that direction. And uh, thanks for your time. And we've got one more lesson after this, uh, just to top it all up. So I'll see you there.